three, two, one. Woo! Happy Friday, everyone. Woo! Welcome to the first episode of My Nutrition Habits Live Weekend Cooking Habit. I'm Brian Beecraft, registered dietitian, and I'm coming to you live from my kitchen in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And this is the first of, I hope, uh, many bi-weekly uh, weekend cooking habits that we'll be spinning together. And I want to make this uh, an informal and fun experience for you and an interactive one as well. Uh, tonight, uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what my nutrition habit is and why I started the site and a little bit about some of the upcoming programming that we're going to be having over the summer. And then we're going to get into our cooking demonstration, which is a quinoa salad recipe. Some of you will be uh, cooking along with me at home. Uh, others can feel free to sit back and watch. And I'll be giving you some uh, nutrition tips on, on the making of this salad and, and why I chose it. And then at the end, we'll have a 10 minute segment called Ask the Dietitian, where you'll be able to log in and ask me your diet and nutrition questions and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So, with that being said, let's get started. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about what my nutrition habit is and why I did it. Um, as a registered dietitian, I found that uh, many people come to me looking for uh, diet advice and they really start to feel like everything's an all or nothing situation. If they can't take all the advice or they can't do everything that we recommend, then they don't want to do it at all. And I simply don't believe that that's true. I believe that your health is not an all or nothing proposition. Any little change that you make has an improvement on your health and well-being, and you can take your time in doing it. Research shows that uh, creating a new habit takes up to eight weeks, and on my page, you'll see weekly uh, healthy habit tips uh, for adopting a new habit. And I wouldn't encourage you to try doing them all at once. Uh, you can look for something that seems like it's easy and achievable for you. Try that out for a few weeks and see how that goes. And then uh, you can start to adopt another habit. And you really will find that over time, as you gain some confidence and experience, in making those little changes, lo and behold, you're going to start to see a big difference in how you look and how you feel and how uh, it really translates into your life overall. And so uh, these, uh, these live cooking demonstrations I'm doing because now seems like a perfect time to do it. Uh, all of us are, have been social distancing for the last few months. Most of us are cooking at home now. Maybe we're getting some takeout here and there. A lot of us are working at home and the gyms have been closed. So uh, even the best dietitians I know have, have been complaining that we've probably taken in a little more calories than we wanted to. So this is help, to help you get back on track. And I want this to feel like an interactive dinner party for you. Uh, since you can't be at my home in person, you can be here with me live. And the recipes that I'm choosing are meant to be very simple, affordable, uh, easy to prepare. You don't need a lot of cooking skill. Uh, this is not, I'm not a chef, and I, this is not a, a Food Network type show, so we're not gonna be delving into a lot of different uh, fancy ingredients. Uh, my belief is that healthy eating comes from focusing on one thing, which is eating real food. And I think all of my fellow dietitians Hi to all of you and thanks for tuning in. Maria Antonieta, say hi. Jennifer Beck, say hi. <laughs> hi, Jennifer. Diesel Hamburg, say hi. Hi, Michelle. David Kensky, say David, hi. David, my brother, David Kensky. Yeah. Hi, how Katie are you? Katie Stimul, say hi. Hi. Hi, Brian. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is my uh, my producer, Coco. Uh, with him, uh, hi, everybody. This, uh, <laughs> he, without him, this would not be possible, so I'm eternally grateful to him. and and his partner who's here uh, giving me uh, audience support and feedback <laughs> and pretending to laugh at my jokes. So, uh, I want everyone to uh, start thinking of your nutrition questions towards the end of the program. Uh, when you put your questions, I'll answer. Don't forget to put 
uh, who you are and where you're from so I, I know who, who I'm delivering this to. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and make sure that you share this with your friends. Uh, this is healthy eating information. Everyone can use it and I hope to make this an approachable and fun experience for you. I know this is for my job, my day job, uh, this is the pride and joy of my career and I love doing it for veterans and now I'm happy to be doing it for you as well. So, uh, with that said, uh, we're going to start in tonight's recipe which is a, a summer quinoa salad and uh, I'll, I'll go over the ingredients in a little bit. I wanted to mention that uh, this is a vegetarian recipe and I'm starting off with a vegetarian recipe uh, because I get asked all the time uh, how uh, how that diet, uh, vegetarian or vegan diet, uh, can be incorporated in the health benefits that it has. And there's a lot of research behind that it does indeed have those habits. That being said, uh, it's noted that it should be noted that you can be a vegetarian or a vegan and not necessarily eat healthy. Remember that Oreos are, uh, are technically vegan, but I wouldn't put you on an Oreo diet and expect you to have healthy outcomes. So again, the key is really knowing what you're doing and knowing where you're sourcing the nutrients that you need. And I'm going to explain that to you here, which is uh, I should say the real benefit of, of having a dietitian do these cooking demonstrations over uh, you know, maybe a chef who is focused more on, on the taste, which there's nothing wrong with that, or uh, with other uh, nutritionists uh, that are looking to uh, pander to some sort of diet, diet type. So uh, what we have here, we have uh, a cup of dry quinoa, we have a cup of fresh strawberries, we have a cup of fresh blueberries, we have the juice of one orange, we have the juice of one lime, we have uh, a tablespoon of raw honey, and uh, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, I actually use champagne vinegar here, you can use either, and uh, a tablespoon of olive oil. The ingredients are on the description of this video, so feel free to check that out uh, if you have them with you. And if you are going to be cooking along with me, if you have not already started cooking the quinoa, I think uh, it's boiling back here, so I'm going to go ahead and, and dump that in here and let that cook. So the key to making great quinoa, uh, it's a two to one ratio, two cups of water, one cup of dry quinoa. And then once you get that water boiling, you're going to cover it and you're going to turn it on as low as you can go. So that will cook for about 15 minutes and while I talk. Yeah. Mom, say hi. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> <laughs> now I want to thank my mom for... Okay, Kathy Sneels and say, This vegan dietitian can testify the quarantine 15 can happen to even us. Too many snacks. That's the yes. Kathy Sneels. <laughs> <laughs> Too many snacks. Yeah. Now, I, uh, sitting here all day in uh, this lovely environment, yeah. with my refrigerator not uh, about <laughs> eight feet away, uh, make sure that you have, the key is probably making sure that you have healthy snacks. Sarah Harton, say hi, Brian. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Diesel Halmon is watching us too. Hi, but, Diesel. But I can, I can, I can <laughs> read what he's saying. So, <laughs> so, hi, Diesel. Hi, Diesel. <laughs> Thank you for being online. Thank you for, being, <laughs> for joining us. Okay, so I want to talk a little bit about quinoa. Um, 15 years ago, quinoa was practically unheard of in this country, and all of a sudden, it uh, gained a, a huge explosion. Uh, the Peruvians have been eating quinoa for nearly 6,000 years. A freaking Peruvian. A freaking Peruvian, <laughs> which my producer is, yeah. and I should mention. Yeah. And um, quinoa is unique in uh, grains in that it contains all nine essential amino acids. And what are nine essential amino acids? Those are all the amino acids that your body needs that it cannot make itself you have to obtain it from food. And certainly all of your meats, your fish, poultry, beef, 
uh, they contain uh, all levels of uh, amino acids, of those essential amino acids, and are considered complete proteins. Most veg vegetable source or grain sources of protein, such as beans or rice, do not have all nine essential amino acids, and therefore they tend to be a little less bioavailable and it can be a little hard to meet your protein needs with with just those grains. You certainly can do it, but you need to be very mindful of uh, you know making sure that you get a cross section of both grains and legumes. Is is but the quinoa is expensive? Quinoa is uh, a little more expensive. Um, I got my quinoa, I got organic quinoa from Aldi. Mm -hmm. um, I believe it was about four ninety five for a pound. Okay. So not too bad. It's but you you can find quinoa in like a regular grocery store. You should be able to find it everywhere. From I, mean, I found it at Aldi, uh, Publix, uh, whatever your local supermarket is. They almost all carry quinoa. And they carry both the white version. Uh, there's a red version, uh, which really provides the same nutrients. It provides different antioxidants in it. Mm -hmm. The great thing about quinoa is that uh, it is a complete protein. It's very high in fiber, which uh, will help you feel more full uh, with less of it. Uh, and it is a gluten-free product because it's not related to wheat whatsoever. It's actually related to spinach and it's a seed. Oh. Uh, so most of the, the quinoa comes from Peru. I believe all of it really comes from kind the Peru, uh, the Andes, Mount Bolivia, Bolivia. Yeah. Okay, Maria Antonieta, say hi. Hi. Ariel Sintrons is watching. Jill Glenser is watching. Hi, Jill. Yeah, so say hi to everybody hi, there. Yeah. Great to have you here. Yeah. Certainly. Uh, can you have fruit for dinner? Of course you can have fruit for dinner. Uh, there's no reason not to. And, and berries are, even if you're following a very low carbohydrate diet, uh, strawberries and blueberries and blackberries have very little sugar in them. So there's not really a concern that you're going to carb overload on certainly on any of these. And they are very high in vitamin C. They're high in antioxidants. Uh, antioxidants are uh, compounds that help fight cancer. And uh, they provide, obviously, a nice uh, flavor and texture in addition to the quinoa. And you can certainly have this as a dinner salad alone. The recipe I'm making has about 250 calories for a cup. Uh, this will make about four cups total. If you uh, do eat meat and you want to combine it with a piece of chicken, that will certainly increase the amount of protein that you have and not increase the carbohydrates at all. Um, but it, this is a nutritionally complete dinner uh, that hopefully has a lot of texture and flavor and uh, I encourage you to give it a try. So, really, really quickly, uh, once our quinoa is done, we're gonna pretend it's done. Mm -hmm. You would cool this. And I'm just gonna pour this all into a big bowl. let that cool off for a little bit and then I'm gonna make the dressing and uh, this is thanks mom this is a Christmas gift. I love this thing. I use it all the thank time. you mom this is great <laughs> this is great so you just take the juices so I'm taking uh, the juice of one orange you have some order to put the juices or just put the juices yeah, around throw them. it in whatever okay uh, the juice of one lime and the vinegar Maria Antonieta say immunity boosters too. They are, yes, exactly. <laughs> and the biggest one, so I used uh, Manuka honey, and I know Jennifer's online. She can yeah. give you, an, and Jennifer may, may be on my program oh, at yeah, some point. Good. She can give you the whole lowdown on Manuka that's honey. That's cool. Josue Arrocho is saying hi to Hi, you. Jose from Puerto Rico. The great thing about raw honey is that it has uh, live bacteria. And uh, that bacteria not only helps for a healthy gut, it can help boost your immune system. 
The Manuka honey is excellent for boosting your immune system. What's Manuka honey? Manuka honey comes from New Zealand and it comes from a, a specific tree in New Zealand. Oh really? So no it's a, no, it's, no it's a honey made by bees. What's well, honey made by bees? Oh, it is made by bees. Uh, but there's something specific about uh, the pollen that the, they get from this tree. And uh, this it, will actually heal. You can put this on a wound on your hand or your face and you'll see it heal rather rapidly. Really? Uh, there's all kinds of health benefits to Manuka honey. It's rather expensive, but uh, I got this at CVS today using a 40% off coupon and it was only 16 <laughs> Okay. Yeah. yeah, low life to coupons. But you don't have to use Manuka honey. You can use uh, any of the local honeys in your area. If you live here in Florida, there's orange blossom honey. Um, and those can help with your allergies uh, because it starts to sensitize your body to uh, the pollen that's around you and you know bees make our food we wouldn't have food without bees mm. and so this is kind of the source of, of um, where a lot of our food allergies come from sometimes is we haven't been sensitized to to the pollens and and uh, listen and the if, 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 if someone want to get more forward information about or want to make a program with you I mean I, what kind of things happen or how that kind of things work absolutely I'm, I'm here to, to of course sell my dietitian services so if you have specific advice or you would like me to work with you to build a diet plan uh, I am available for private consulting I have uh, programs for just a one-time consult or a package with two follow-ups um, and you really do want to see a registered dietitian. Uh, we are the only ones qualified to uh, take into account uh, your medical history, uh, do a full nutrition assessment on you, and really find what's going to work for you. Because people ask me all the time, what's the best diet? Well, I think all of my dietitian uh, friends would agree the best diet is the one that's going to work for you. Jennifer Beck, Jennifer Beck said, Manuka honey is well worth the cost. Local honey is awesome too. Yep, yep, I agree. I think we're we're all kind of in agreement on that. So I'm going to give. Uh, I'm just going to give all these ingredients. I'm going to mix it all up in here to finish the dressing. I think I was a bit of a brute with this with this, <laughs> this toy. <laughs> with a mama uh, toy. <laughs> Mom's toy. That's okay. And then, so I'm just taking the, the cold quinoa. And then I'm mixing in the berries. Ted Trobert, say hi. Hi, Ted. How are you? Good to see you guys. I miss you. I'm just going to stir that up. What are these? RDs? Yeah. So RD stands for Registered Dietitian. I said RD's rule. RD's rule. <laughs> <laughs> so there's there's two classifications of us now. You can either call yourself a registered dietitian or a registered dietitian nutritionist. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist. That's uh, a beautiful color for that. Yeah, look at the color on yeah, that. That's and amazing. with the cooked quinoa, it looks even it looks even nicer and it will fluff up. And how nice does it look? A little bit of garnish, it's quite nice. That's with the final product of the salad, right? This is the final product of the salad. That's so, again, cool. 250 calories, uh, about five grams of fiber, almost 10 grams of protein, uh, probably half of your, your daily allowance of vitamin C in there, and it is rich in texture and flavor, a little bit sweet, and the dressing, you know, with the citrus juice. And the honey is a little bit of a sweet and sour taste, which is always kind of key in, in mixing um, flavors that, that are a bit more complex. Yeah, Ted, Ted Travers say, miss you too, looking good, gorgeous color. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Peter, and... Peter Gorovitz say, yum, diesel, halmon, test look great, Ted Travers, <laughs> love the dish. That's good. And so my work wives um, asked me before I was doing this program, they're like, uh, so is there going to be any wine pairing with this? And uh, most of you know, maybe a lot of you know or don't know, uh, uh, some time ago here I used to own a wine store and wine bar 
in Fort Lauderdale and one is still near and dear to my heart. So I have uh, decided to play a little 23andMe on this. Uh, I found out through uh, genetic testing that I have a good 20% uh, French background and uh, my DNA comes mostly uh, from the south of France where uh, some of my favorite wines from France are made, namely uh, the Bordeaux co or the coast of, south coast of France in Provence and this is a rosé from that area. I don't really like American rosé because I tend to think that they're a bit sweet. But this one is uh, dry and minerally. Listen, and that's, that's the perfect wine for pairing a salad like that? It absolutely is. So it gives a little bit of uh, more flavor than, than a white wine would. And it, it's, it's, got a, it's very dry and crisp. There's nothing sweet about this wine. But it will offset this salad lovely. Uh, the strawberries, again, and blueberries are not particularly sweet, sugary fruits. So uh, that, combined with a little bit of mint in there, I want to hit the spot. That's cool. David Kensky asks, I've been hearing more and more about avocado oil recently. Is it hair healthier than olive oil? Not healthier, uh, but here's the thing about avocado oil. So they're both monounsaturated fats, and what that means is... Um, That's a they, good oil? That's they're, a good. Both, they're both good oils. Um, the difference, they both have the same health benefits for your heart. Uh, they are both antioxidant oils. They will mop up free radicals much the same way that, uh, you know, fruits and vegetables will. Uh, the difference is uh, extra virgin olive oil has a very low smoke point. So if you were to try to bake something with olive oil, you know, they it burn gets, faster. It's up to uh, 400 yeah. degrees, it's going to start smoking. Mm -hmm. And it can actually uh, ruin uh, the Their effect, flavor, yeah. the healthy effects of that. Avocado mm -hmm. oil has, uh, I believe, almost a 450, 475 degree smoke point. So you can use avocado oil uh, with cooking just about anything, and it, it won't smoke on you, and you'll still have the health benefits of it. So that's really the advantage. I, I use avocado oil for uh, baking. Uh, grilling and that sort of thing, or, or uh, even high heat sauteing. And I tend to use my extra virgin olive oil for salad dressings and, and colder dishes. Yeah, uh, listen, it, usually the people make questions during the live streaming, but what's happening if people have another questions where you can send the questions to? You, you can send your questions to my email at brian at mynutritionhabit.com. And again, what's your address? You do your Facebook and Instagram? Uh, my address at Facebook and Instagram is at My Nutrition Habit. In both side, in both platforms, On right? On both platforms. Yeah. So, right. well, that is a reminder to right. people that you can they can follow you and you can share the video you want. Yep. Right? And I, I will be posting uh, nutrition habits once a week. Um, and. I'll, uh, Boom! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was ready. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what what diet questions do you have for me now? I'll open the open the yeah. floor to other things. People asking, are you single? Yes. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> well, <laughs> Diesel Hamel say nice bot. <laughs> Sorry. Thank that, you. That put in that put in there, so I have have to read it. Uh, what more? Awesome. Thanks for clarifying. That's the real can Uh I have a question. Well, how is the life of this salad if I prepare and I try to keep it in the refrigerator? How long can we take? Uh, I just covered uh, about three to four days. If Cover it. Covered. You know, yeah. the plastic wrap. Yeah. Uh, if you have something like a food saver that sucks the oxygen out of it, it'll last a good uh, week to ten days. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? No, I no. think we're okay. Well, so to give you a little sneak preview of what's going to happen in two weeks, uh, I'm going to take us on a little uh, ethnic food tour, and we're going to prepare a Korean street toast, uh, which will be my first time. Well, I will have prepared it before I prepare it for you, but it'll be my first time really venturing into this. And uh, in coming episodes, we'll have uh, some of my colleagues here uh, reviewing some different diets, uh, 
sharing their recipes and um, talking about supplements. And if you have ideas for a show or things you'd like to see, feel free to uh, send me a message and let me know what you'd like to see. Don't forget to share this. Uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram and share this, uh, this program with you. I hope this was a little bit informative for you and I look forward to seeing you again right here at 9 p.m. Eastern in two weeks. Woo! Have a good night, everyone. Yeah.